a device to help the blind see again? Welcome to my video. We will highlight the news reports concerning Elon's projects. The CEO of Tesla, Twitter, and SpaceX takes some time to advertise Neuralink, a business he co-founded to create brain-computer interfaces. Elon Musk took a break from his battles to show off the most recent developments at Neuralink, creating brain implants that connect people to computers. The action is part of a more hectic time for Musk, who took over Twitter in November of 2022 and has been very active and controversial in his actions since. Elon Musk, a billionaire in the tech industry, claimed on Wednesday that one of his businesses would be able to implant a device into a person's brain that would enable communication with a computer in six months. According to Musk, the interface developed by his startup Neuralink will enable users to speak with computers directly through their thoughts. Wow! In a company presentation, he stated, We've filed, I believe, most of our paperwork to the FDA, U.S. Food and Drug Administration, and we think probably in about six months we should be able to have our first Neuralink in a human. Musk demonstrated a monkey using implanted thoughts to play Pong at a Neuralink event a year ago. We've been working hard to be ready for our first human, Musk said. We've been working hard, and obviously we want to be really careful and certain that it will operate properly before placing a gadget in a human, he added. Musk, who just acquired Twitter in addition to his booming business empires is renowned for making grandiose promises about his businesses, many of which have not come to pass according to news reports. He promised in July 2019 that Neuralink would be able to conduct its first human tests in 2020. The monkey's heads have been implanted with the prototypes, which are the size of coins. Even those who were born blind would be able to regain their vision, according to Musk. During the Neuralink presentation, the business displayed numerous monkeys using their Neuralink implants to play simple video games or move a cursor on a screen. Musk reiterated that the business would aim to use the implants to help people regain their vision and mobility. Despite being the stuff of science fiction, Musk argued that developing mind-machine interfaces is essential to halt the rapid advancement of artificial intelligence. In the beginning, he explained, we would enable someone who has absolutely little capacity to operate their muscles and enable them to use their phone faster than someone who has working hands. We are sure that it is possible to restore full physical functionality to someone who has had their spinal cord severed, notwithstanding how amazing it may sound. Musk said his ultimate goal is to prevent people from becoming cognitively overpowered by artificial intelligence, which goes beyond the potential to treat neurological illnesses. Synchron, which declared in July that it had implanted the first brain-machine interface in the United States, is one of the companies working on such technologies. Artificial intelligence turns out to be beneficial, Musk questioned how humans can fully benefit from it and go along for the ride. He claimed that, at best, humans can only input data at a rate of between 10 and 100 bits per second into laptops and smartphones. Let's wait for further developments on this amazing technology. If you find this video to be interesting please click the like and subscribe button to see more videos like these as we embark on a journey on following the Elon Trekker. Thanks for watching.